most of the Oregon teams, you know, up and down their lineup are, are going to be able to run. So they, they execute extremely well. They're, they're as, as well coached as anyone in the country because of Coach Horton. And um, it, it's a great test for us early because it gives us a chance to, um, um, you know, to see any weaknesses exposed and gives us, you know, things to work on. The same thing when you play an Oregon team, you got to pitch ahead in the count, you got to keep the leadoff man off base, you got to hold runners, and um, you got to play good defense, which is you know something that we didn't do um, you know all of last year. Uh, you know defensively, I think we're a much improved defensive club, but um, that remains to be seen because we haven't turned the scoreboard on, and we haven't started playing yet. I know that they're all very good players, and you know that it's going to take our A game to come out and beat them. Is but if we pitch, play defense, and have timely hitting throughout the game, I think we have a very good chance of beating them. Um, the chemistry of our team is really good. You know, we all bought in from day one, and then I feel like that's what's going to um, make us different from any other team we play. I'm excited. Uh, another go around against Oregon. They're a tough team, and, you know, we just got to play our ball and play sound and play great baseball. And, um, you know, we're capable of doing that, and, you know, we're excited. And uh, I'm excited to get going uh, my last season here, and, you know, a better way to come out with an opening W. Well, you know, Ko hit 310 last year. I'd take that right now if you just if you just sign me up for it. But um, but I actually think he's capable of uh, of being better because he's been able to drive balls to the opposite gap now, and, and that's that's really impressive. And, and the same with Steve. We're seeing him just stronger and uh, having a, a more of a presence at the plate uh, that um, that's more than just the, the speed game. And so we're hoping that um, both of, both of those guys are able to to find a way to uh, you know, continue to swing like they've been in our scrimmages. Well, I think the strengths uh, just starting off are, are, going to be, are going to be pitching depth. The depth is what, um, what we really focused on in the offseason and trying to make sure that uh, you know, the injuries that we had last year, um, you know, if we had them again, which we you know, so far haven't, uh, didn't affect our depth. So we are, uh, you know, we're going into the uh, the season with with a legit 11 arms, or you know, maybe even more than that, that can come out and pitch at this level. Whereas last year at this time, because of our injuries, we didn't have everybody back yet. We were, you know, we were about a five-arm staff this time uh, last year. So, so I think the pitching depth is one thing. Overall depth, in particular, we're we're more athletic. Um, but uh, a lot remains to be seen because with 18 new guys, you you don't know what you're going to get. We think we do uh, because we've seen them since September. But um, when you turn the scoreboard on, some guys will elevate their game, but some guys will give you that deer in the headlights look, and, and you have to give them a chance to uh, get used to the, the elements and, and, uh, and take a breath.